Hi, welcome back to MacBreak Studio. I'm Mark, I'm here with Steve. We're in beautiful San Rafael, California. We're doing some MacBreak Studio love today and we're talking about something with Final Cut Pro. Well, right, uh, Apple re recently released a new Final Cut Pro update. 10.2.3. Right, and it had one particular feature that's really useful if you want to apply a quick color correction or a quick audio filter. In fact, you did a under five on it. Yes, yes. So what I want to do is take that new feature one step further. In fact, the new update was mostly bug squashes. Right. But uh, this one feature, I'm really happy about. It's going to save me a lot of time. So let's see what you're doing. Okay. So what I have here is a timeline of a four clips. Um, two of them were shot with the Canon C100 and a couple well, one was shot with a black magic one was shot with the the sony what is it a7 two yes they were all shot with flat profiles in other words they were log and coded coded okay and uh, the reason they were shot that way of course is to preserve the dynamic range now these chips uh have the abilities camera chips to record this incredible amount of dy dynamic range but most displays can't display all that data so they essentially log and code them use fancy math to compress them into a smaller space to get all that detail information in the shadows and highlights that's right so they look flat but a lot of times you don't want to edit that way and certainly clients don't necessarily want to see their footage you know flat what i'm going to use is i'm going to use a um, third-party piece of software from a guy named denver riddle at uh, colorgradingcentral.com and He's got this great little utility called the the LUT utility. So I'm just going to just uh, drag this right on this uh, Canon, this first Canon clip here. And notice that I, so I parked my playhead here. Nothing has been applied in the inspector. You'll see here there's no LUT applied. But if I click this pop-up, you'll see there's all these different LUTs that you can apply. They're kind of built in. This is really, really handy. And you could use any of them. That does, it's not specific to that camera. You could really use any, but the you idea could, is to use one that was designed specifically to interpret the log for that camera. That's right, because the logs or it's algorithms different, are different. Right? They're, they're different. Like C log and V log and S log, all depending on a Sony's log and right. Canon's and Panasonic's and. Right. So I'm. This is the Canon C log. So I'm going to just go ahead and apply this Canon log to Rec 709. And instantly, you see a difference in the image. It's, it's got it's brighter. It's pops, got more. Yeah. It's got pops. Get more dyna It's, you know, it's a little bit more contrast. Um, and then let's let's do one little right here. This one obviously looks flat. This was shot by my friend Abba Shapiro, yep. and uh, it was shot with a Blackmagic Cinema camera. And I'll go ahead and let's see. Make sure I have the LUT applied. It looks like I do. No LUT by default. I'll go down here and just choose Blackmagic Film to Rec 709 and. It's pretty dramatic. Wow, you can yeah. really see the you sunset, know. especially in the oranges. It yeah, pops it's, there, you it's know? fantastic. So, really, really great utility for a, a starting place for your grading. Or you may not. You may like the lot and just and edit stick with it right and there. Stick with it right there, and you're fine. Because the idea is to try to make it look like it looked when you were shooting it. Right. So all this to say, what does this have to do with the new update? Okay, that's where yes, we're going with yes. this. Okay, so Steve, what does this have to do with the new update? <laughs> exactly. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to. I'm going to select that first clip, and I'm going to go ahead and remove the LUT by selecting and pressing delete. Now, if you if I go up to the edit menu, it would be really nice if I can assign that LUT as a shortcut, which um, you now can. Notice by default, this is the new feature. Option E will apply a color correction filter, yeah. as you rightly pointed out in your under five, right? But I want to change this to applying a LUT. Let me mention something this, because yes. some, some folks may say, in fact, people have written and they say, wait, I updated to 10.2.3 and I don't see those new commands, add color correction, add channel EQ. And the reason, if you don't see them, the reason is you've probably created a custom keyboard set. Yeah. And if you do that, any new custom keyboard commands in any update won't appear. So you have to either add them manually or go back to the default set to, to see those. That's a really good point. So, okay. Um, but usually you should see them if you didn't do a custom keyboard. Well, yeah, and by default, if you're using the default set, you'll see that color correction is the default. Is the one that gets right. applied with right. the option let's, E. Let's look at how to change that really quick. So I'm just gonna go over here, control click, and I can reassign it, make default video effect. Okay, so just uh, like we had a uh, make default transition, we can now do it with a default video effect. Right, now I'm doing it with uh, Denver Riddle's LUT utility. Now, when I go back over here and I go over here, you'll notice here it says apply add lot. Oh, okay, now I, I, this is great. Option E applies a lot. What I don't like about it is it applies the default with no lot no applied. Lot. So you so, still have to go in and adjust it every time. Right. So let's let's do um, let's show my workflow on this. Okay. okay. So what I'll do is let's just say I want to go Canon log to Rec 709. That's that's what I want to save as the a lot. Right. So now what I'd recommend is click Save Effect Preset. And call this. I'm going to call this Canon. Uh, let's see, log to 709, just so I know what that is, right? Right. And I'll store this 
you can so I'm going to store it in the lot utility section. In the same folder. Same place, yeah. right? Okay. I'm going to click save. Okay. And there, there it is. It is. Uh -huh. Now what I prefer to do is save the default effect to my preset. Ah, that's great. So I'll save that default. That's so great. You're using the combination of being able to customize the effect and then apply it through a keyboard shortcut. Right. And now, now what I can do is like, let's say I have a bunch of Canon log encoded footage. I just select okay. them all, Command A, and then just press Option, Option e. e. In this case, add Canon log to 709. That's my default yep. preset. And boom, just like it's, that. It's done all it's of done. in a keyboard. Right. Command A, Option oh. E, done. Done. That's why I call this episode One Step Lutz. Love so, it. So it's, that's, uh, that's my little tip. Very good. And the new, new feature in Final Take, Cut. Takes advantage of new feature and takes advantage of all these cameras that have the ability to shoot in log. Mm -hmm. Awesome, Steve. Great. Hope you guys like that. RippleTraining.com for all the information about Final Cut Pro Motion Compressor. Many other things there. Uh, Twitter, Facebook, you see all the links below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again on MacBreak Studio.